G'day, welcome to Custom Craft and Adventure. My name is Derek. I'm a DIY fabricator and I'm here today to show you how to mount this awning onto this canopy. Have you ever Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. to show you what I've got here. Uh, that is the awning that I said I have to put on to the canopy. Uh, it can be very tricky because um, even the mounting kit it came with me uh, may not actually work for your application. So what I'm going to show you today is how to do a bit of custom job um, and just make this possible. So what I've got here is I, I believe this sort of channel actually came with the awning so that's already mounted on there from the previous mount uh, it, it allows uh, the T-bolts to slide through uh, I'm not too sure if I'm going to use that because it looks really flimsy it's only uh, 8 mil thick so um, I will consider whether using this or not uh, I've also got myself some heavy duty M, uh, 6 mil thick um, L bracket uh, from Low Hardware Store yesterday and I think this will be more than enough to uh, to link this channel and um, and it sort of allows uh, a surface for mounting on the canopy. Um, heavy duty high tensile bolts and obviously they will be very good for the application. Some um, brackets that I used previously I've already custom made. Uh, well, I didn't custom make them, but I uh, cut cut out some corners and make this application work. And that's originally how it looks like. All right. Um, yeah. Let's get started. Yeah, let's get started. All right, I'll just take a chance to show you how it originally was mounted. Uh, previously, I've got this platform system on the roof, and that obviously goes onto a roof rack. Um, it has got channels allowing to slide through some channel nuts, and that channel nut sort of uh, in a way, it, it, uh, it allows the, the uh, allows the mounting of the bracket. Uh, so that's the black bracket I've shown you earlier. Um, previously, it was very simple. You only had to put a couple of brackets here, uh, and that bracket allows the surface for the awning, and that's all it was. All right, uh, but this one is a little bit different. Haven't got a platform, haven't got any channel, but all I have is this notch. And I've got a flat surface in here, somewhere there inside there is a plate, uh, so a reinforcement, a reinforcing plate somewhere in here, and also somewhere in there. I just had to find that out, honestly. Uh, but this is all I have. So I've got this surface here, I've got that surface here, and I've also uh, got another surface in here. So these will be the three points They'll be attached. Uh, they'll be attaching the brackets, so that hopefully the awning will work. All right. Uh, to make this uh, to 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 make sense a little bit more and allow you to understand a little bit more. Uh, so that bracket obviously looks crappy at the moment. I'll, I'll make this more beautiful. But that bracket that I made yesterday uh, that will go up here. So inside there is a reinforcement uh, bracket, and uh, that one there. And I've shown you earlier that will stack onto, uh, onto this channel and you put a couple of bolts through and that provides a surface on here. So I'll, and, and also there's a reinforcement channel inside uh, and that allows the attachment of, of the awning uh, and the channel up here. Uh, and somewhere in the front, I'll probably have to cut this out and that represents that surface, if you know what I mean. So that was pre-made, um, I just had, all I need to do is to cut this part out and hopefully I'll have to space it out a little bit because on here, I've got a lip of the, of the canopy roof. So I'll have to space it out a little bit more, uh, cut that sort of surface out and uh, that provides a mounting surface of the awning. So it looks 
fairly simple to you, uh, but actually um, there is a bit of complication. So where this one locates, uh, the, the bracket inside actually is not quite at the right spot. So I'll just quickly show you what I meant. Ugh. Okay, nice and smooth. Now that is the bracket I'm talking about. Um, that actually sits around 55 mil inside from the corner of the of the canopy corner. Uh, so what it means is that I'll have to uh, I'll have to start putting holes at around a clearance of 55 mil. So 55 mil from the corner. You know I can only put a couple of you know holes here, a couple of bolts to support this uh, this bracket. So you, you may ask me what what should I do in the front here? Um, the only thing that I can think of, really, I can't really use bolts and nuts. I can only use some heavy duty uh, sealed aluminium uh, rivets. That's um, I've got some yesterday somewhere, and hopefully this will work. And they are the 4.8 diameters, uh, lots of grip as well, and they are the heavy duty ones, and it's waterproof. The whole thing seems very simple, but uh, it could take a few hours of work uh, because some, sometimes things are not very straightforward. Uh, so I guess when you talk about the steps, the first step is to put the bracket in the middle first, and that way we can judge how much room we've got uh, in the rear. And once we've got the two points anchored, then we can work on the last one that is in the front. It wasn't the best feeling to drill the canopy. Uh, putting holes in the canopy increases the risk of leakage, but obviously you'll have to seal it well using silicon, uh, especially use vehicle grade silicon. And uh, when you drill the holes as well, make sure they're they're nice and straight. Um, you hold the drill nice and straight uh, without pivoting. All right, so the middle bracket's been put in. Uh, we only managed to put one heavy duty bolt in because there's literally not enough space in there. Uh, so it's only put in temporarily. Temporarily. Uh, we're going to take it back out and do a bit of work, uh, uh, work up later. Uh, that's like sealing the holes to make it uh, waterproof, things like that. Now, the second step is here. So basically we'll, we'll have to put this on first, uh, again temporarily. Um, so I've got the channel here, some T-bolts inside, so it allows me to mount this one up there. So put it up first and then that, that way we'll, we'll know uh, the exact distance from here to there and also compare this distance from here to the end of it. So that is where we want this channel to stack up. So, um, that's our plan. We'll put this up first and then we'll bring the awning up there and then we'll do some more. Installing an awning seems like a very simple job, but it actually isn't uh, because uh, by considering the awning is 30 kilograms, bringing the 30 kilogram item up and down is uh, several times is actually very, very tiring. And uh, you've got to have the second person help you. In my case, I'm very lucky to have my wife pay to help me uh, to do this job properly. Otherwise, I would have injured myself very badly. And also, apart from the weight of the awning, we're actually talking about a custom fabrication job. Uh, the manufacturer's brackets are simply under-engineered. You've got to make yourself some really, really strong ones, especially uh, I'm going to use this in off-road application. Alright, um, so... We've noticed a problem uh, of this awning. So I always say simple, simple projects are always not simple because there are always hiccups. And uh, here's an example. Now, so that's how we've been mounting uh, the, the ostrich awning uh, in the past couple of years. 
uh, and that's from the aluminium channel inside so as you can see that's a channel all right uh, now the problem is the channel isn't really strong enough and apparently the high tensile m6 has been pulling out uh, whether, it's the, whether it is from over tightening or not uh, I think it is very hard to prevent but um, all I want to point out is that I've paid good money for this awning uh, and I mean the canvas is good the bag is very spacious uh, it is self-supporting and it does its job but there are just little things that disappoints me so we have to change the way of mounting uh, unfortunately we can't really use the four same holes anymore uh, so our, our solution is to use M12 uh, instead of four of them we use two of them and then we use some washes as well uh, to spread out the load so here we go uh, we use those ones and also we use a big um, the uh, the washer, sorry, the um, the nut with a big flange uh, to spread out the load. By using a 12 mil high tensile bolt, yes, that would mean I have to drill some 12 mil holes on the uh, on the on the awning. But it is okay because the awning has a really big aluminium mass, and uh, the M12 bolt uh, is only a very small proportion of it. So it actually adds a lot of strength. Um, to the awning itself. Now the hole's been drilled in as you as you've seen earlier. Um, so that's that. These holes are for the brackets. Now we have to find a really safe way to to lift uh, the awning. To the canopy uh, because now with the, with the brackets it's going to be really really heavy well it's probably not too bad but it's just we, we have to do it properly um, and also we have to avoid, avoid scratching as well uh, although we have two people here we, we lift the awning but it's still 30 kilograms to handle so what we are going, trying to do is we, we try to use the gantry uh, to lift this up um, and hopefully that will work. Uh, to use the, the gantry, there's a hook on there. Uh, in order to put this on the hook, we need lifting straps, but I haven't got any at all. So I'm just using uh, the drag chain and just wrap around the awning quite a few times. Hopefully shorten this chain a little bit and then uh, we'll try to find a balance point and then lift it by the gantry. Then we soon found out the gantry wasn't actually tall enough to lift uh, the awning above the canopy. So um, the, the method failed. Uh, so we have to go back to the old school lifting by, by our own body and hands. Alright guys, uh, finally the awning has gone onto the canopy. Now the, the, the awning at the moment is only held by one, uh, one set of bracket. Uh, we've noticed a couple of problems. So. At the back of the canopy, we've got a we've got a bracket to, to go on. It, it actually doesn't fit at the moment, so we'll have to do a bit of fabrication work and just make make sure this one works. Yeah, just to give you a bit of idea as well, um, the uh, the frame inside is a channel, so that's a three mil channel. Uh, it's fairly strong inside. I probably have to start drilling a hole from inside here uh, and somewhere there and somewhere down there as well. Um, so once we found the first hole and then we can get the second hole done and then we can start moving on to this bracket. So what I'm about to do, uh, I'm going to, uh, because obviously it doesn't really fit on there perfectly as you can see. Uh, so cut out this part and use that part welded on here and then cut out some excess pieces and somewhere in the middle I'll have to drill a couple of holes that suits the hole and after all this is done uh, we'll test fit on the um, on here uh, once is, the test fit is complete uh, then we can test open the awning and after that, after that uh, if we're happy about the awning uh, how, the, how the awning opens then we can start packing up the front bracket
When doing a fabrication job such as an awning bracket, especially there are three of them that need to be done, uh, a lot of time is to work out which one, which way to, to start. Uh, if you go for the wrong way, very you you find it out very soon enough because you find that the way it doesn't work, and then you have to find another way to make it work. Making something like this does take a bit of time. You can't really rush the job. Uh, very often, I'll have to uh, sit down and think through the process very uh, quite a few times. Uh, once it sinks into my brain, and then I'll have to start working on it very carefully one by one. Alright guys, I am about to join these two pieces together by welding. Uh, some people call this well, uh, butt join, sorry, butt join. Um, the secret to form a strong butt join is that uh, you've got to weld a bevel on either side and that way it forms a V, a valley, uh, when you line them up together uh, and that valley allows the weld to sort of fill in. Um, the space you've got, the void you've got in there. And that way, uh, the, the weld is always stronger than the material itself and that will become a really, really strong joinery. How good is this? This is beautiful. Let's test the thing. Fits in perfectly. Alright guys, I'm trying to figure out a way to attach uh, the bracket to the awning. Uh, so, it's very nicely made. Uh, you can't really tell it's been welded in here. Uh, so, the, originally, I was trying to use the 12 mil high tensile bolt through the holes, and then, I mean, they're the M12 holes anyway. Uh, but on the awning, they've got something like this. Uh, in order to fit in a 12 mil bolt, uh, I've got to trim the bolt head a little bit to make it suit because it's just a little bit too fat. Uh, and um, I mean, it, it should probably work, but the flange of the bolt head is actually too, it's a little bit too small and I'm just afraid that it will end up the same scenario on the awning channels so I don't want to destroy this thing because it came with the awning honestly I have no idea who designed these sort of channels they are they're not designed for any channel nuts or bolts so this is a T-bolt that I can't get in Australia unfortunately I don't know where I could get this but uh, I believe these bolts actually came with it and it fits perfectly and uh, and unfortunately this is actually the M the uh, 8 mil bolt hole uh, the 8 mil bolt so this will be the weakest bolt of the whole system but I guess it is probably strong enough especially it's linked to aluminium so uh, well I'll firstly have to locate the hole after putting this on uh, after bolting this on the awning and then I uh, will put some holes using drill press Oh, 
Alright guys, a bit of a bad news for you. Uh, uh, while I was so happily trying to drill this hole, that I've noticed that this hole is actually too close uh, to the edge. Uh, and obviously it's not big enough. It is only 12 mil at the moment, close to 12 mil at the moment, but I need 14. Uh, to give a bit of slack to put that bolt through. Now, uh, if it is 14, it will be too close to this edge. So, originally I thought it would be fine, but it's not fine. So what I'm going to do now, just a little bit more fabrication work, I'm just going to join this uh, piece back. That's the, the piece that I cut out yesterday. Join this back and, um, yeah, I mean, it's only, an, I need another five mils, really, to make this happen. Um, I should have just put all the bolts on the awning yesterday before I actually put a line through it. Um, it's all right, I'll just weld it back up. Well, the beauty of metal fabrication is that you can uh, usually fix your mistakes so you actually make one, unlike woodwork. Uh, if you have made a mistake in woodwork, that's it, you can't fix it and you have to start again. And that's why I like metal fabrication rather than woodwork. Through the process of learning, you actually learn from your mistakes and you become smarter over time and you are less likely to make mistakes. So now we've got this done, it actually looks really good. So I've actually put it on and test fit it. Uh, it, uh, it is in the right spot. So I'm so glad that I've done all that. Uh, so essentially, well, you see that the next hole is bigger. That was my mistake, but it's all right uh, because it's going to fit in perfectly. So these two holes, um, I'm going to line, line that up on the awning now, and then I'm going to drill the second hole uh, in the frame. Talking about making mistakes, we're about to find out very soon what this mistake is about. Hey guys, I've noticed a problem. Uh, when the awning was open halfway, I've noticed the awning sort of dropped down a little bit and I wondered why. And when I sort of closed the awning back on and I had a look at the back, uh, I noticed the bracket actually sort of uh, went downwards. And the reason was the holes were drilled a little bit too big. And remember I, I said uh, that was my mistake, the holes were a little bit too big and I thought it was a good thing. but. Uh, unfortunately it isn't. Uh, normally it fits bolts pretty well, but uh, I, I've tried tightening the bolts a lot, but it still didn't work. So, the plan is, uh, I'm going to use some the 12 mil washers, and uh, hopefully I can weld it onto the bracket. And now I've got to have some precise measurement, make sure it is the, at the right spot, and put uh, and tack it tack it on the, uh, while it's on the canopy and I'll bring it down and, and just do a bit of welding. Guys, fingers crossed, uh, I've fixed whatever I can fix. So let's try to open this awning. Hopefully it works well. I'd say it is a success, although it still moves a little bit, but what I'll be doing is that 
uh, after taking it out, uh, either, I don't know, I'll put some glue and I'll let the glue set. Uh, together with the bolts, it should be good enough. If not, I'll, I'll also put some rivets just to hold it up. Hey. Um, but I'd say this is a success. It's pretty strong. Uh, the open mechanism works. Um, and the other thing is, here, this is not essential, but uh, for the sake of traveling, I'll pack this up and bolt it somewhere there. All right, so that will be the next step and uh, I'll take everything off and start painting. Right, there you have it guys, uh, that's the awning on this canopy and it shows you how quickly a very simple project can become very very difficult and tricky. Now you've got to really appreciate what the fabricators do. Now if you like this sort of content, if you like my video, if you pick up a few points, subscribe, uh, press like and notification and um, you can also follow our Instagram as well and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.